Say hello to you all my brothers and sisters of Biafra. You are welcome to my channel. Today we have a news for you. And the headline says, Breaking 67 Apple members arrested in Imo State. Now, friends, I'm not going to go straight to the detail of this news because it's inconsequential. What I'm going to say here is that I will go on and give the analysis of this news. Because in life, it's very important, when people are doing something, they do it in a right way. We all are our beer friends. It doesn't matter what you think. You can think otherwise. That is your own problem. Here in the headline, it says that 67 Apple members are arrested in Imo State because they went to see a native doctor. That is what the Nigerian police and the so-called soldiers are talking about. You know, that gets me to ask this simple question. Does it mean now that we, Biafrans, don't have the right to do what we want in our life? Everybody in this life has his own God, faith, whatever, to worship. People have different religion. People have Muslim. People have Christianity. People have Ndiala. People have different, different type of things. People like to worship idol. What is the problem of policing inside it? What is the problem of Nigerian Janjawi soldier who has left their border? For the enemy to come in and go around all the whole villages in Ibo land, mingling like fools. Forgetting that they have work to do in the border where the real enemies is coming inside from, coming into from. They only prefer to arrest innocent hypobians who are going their different business to fortify themselves, whatever. What is the problem of police? If somebody, human being, who has his own right to, to want to go and fortify himself to avoid flying him and killing him. So these people, what they have been planning with our governors is to allow the flying him to kill of us all. This is it. And that useless policeman, I don't know who he is, think he can just go around arresting innocent people, leaving the flying him men who are killing the same innocent people to roam around the whole street of Imo State, killing people unnecessarily without doing anything. Can he tell me how many police, how many fallen men he has he have arrested ever since he became a policeman in that Imo State? When you ask him now, he will see none to say because everybody knows that fallen men now have power more than them. Or can should I say that the one encouraging them to do whatever they are doing? Because what they are doing is that they brought Fulani men inside our land. They send them to go and kill innocent people, rape women, rape children. At the same time, they go around arresting innocent Apobians who are willing to defend themselves, who they are willing to go somewhere to protect themselves, to avoid any machete cut or any gunshot to them. That is shows that truly what we are talking about, the flanization is already in Biafra land. There's no two way about it. What is bothering me so much is the British government. They have refused to do something about this. I don't really know what this people is up to. But 
the fact is that something is going wrong. And they have kept quiet. They have decided not to say anything. Is it that they are not tired of the killing from the fallen hand men? Or is it that they are not tired of the arresting of innocent Apobians who are going their businesses in a different way without offending or causing any problem? Imagine a policeman who called himself a first man came out and said that they were arrested because they went to a native doctor. This is just a party. This is disgrace. This is disgusting. That a policeman who called himself a policeman, a Nigerian policeman, who come out in public to tell press this rubbish. Everywhere you see in this world, people have their own life to live, their faith. Some Christians, some Muslims, some uh, 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 Judas, some uh, 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 Hare Krishna, some uh, 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 whatever. These things are what you believe. You are right. So far, you are not doing anything bad with it. They are going around arresting us and and some useless journalist who could have said journalist of Ibu extraction will be busy talking trash. And even this BBC himself, I'm, I'm ashamed of BBC Ibu. If I said it, it will not cut my neck. I'm ashamed of BBC Ibu. They can never say the truth. All they always broadcast is fake, fake news. They call us the new fake news broadcast about all oh, slides. We are the one giving the, the written, the re-info. Rather, BBC are the ones frustrating the struggle of Piafra, making sure that everything did not work the way it's supposed to work. What have we done to them? Why can't they let the divorce let us be? After the war, they have not done anything good for us. We all suffer. When you want to travel to London, Britain, you know how much you suffer before you get there. Because as an Igbo man, as a Biafra man, But a bookie will go there even without any statement of statement of account. Or millions of naira in his account, he will travel to, to, to Britain very quietly. Is it obvious for you to understand that British government hurt the Biafrans? If not, because of what? Because one Zeke of Africa asked them for independence. Fine. They gave it to him after, after enough struggling. They gave it to him, but they did not give him the power. They gave a Fulani man the power to control. And that is what he has seen today. A Janjawi. He left his border where he's supposed to protect. Going to a village of people roaming around like a bunker allowing the enemies to come inside our land kill our innocent people our innocent mothers the children rape women introducing different type of terrorists in our land whereas we are good people of god in heaven we worship almighty god we don't we dislike anything terrorism we do not like it but you that love terrorism, why are you frustrating the life of the innocent people? Why can't you take your country and go and let us be so that we will live in our country, establish our country, make our country a better place that people will come, when they come inside, they will say, yes, this is the real country in Africa. This is what you are talking about. Go to many countries in Africa, you will see better things are happening there. It's only in Nigeria that bad, bad things are happening. Upon that, when we talk, they will say we are giving fake news. All these things. They are the ones who give the fake news. Just like Channel TV, all of them call themselves Nigerian television channels. They are all fake people going around lying against the Biafra struggle because they want one Nigeria to remain. One Nigeria, have you get anything from that one Nigeria ever since it was established? No. 50, 60 guys them years. Nothing to show for one Nigeria. So why can't the people who are suffocated here go their way? Because of you don't want them to go there. We are busy arresting innocent people who are fighting for the freedom of Biafra. 
for no reason and one stupid people like some online uh, uh, online uh, journalists online uh, broadcasters like me they will come out here when they want to put the uh, because they want to make money they will put it in a board uh, so uh, uh, members are arrested and uh, shrine what nonsense you saying this have you not gone to shrine before all these are politicians are they not going to shrine haven't you seen them going to different places traditional people will ask traditional shrine people to get to, to to ask them to help them when they want to become governor so what is the part about it so if you come to our pop members now nah, it's a button that they want to go and protect themselves from the hands of flying men who are killing them with take for seven who have refused to disarm because they are working together with you nigerian government god they will god is everybody with everybody they do it doesn't matter what you think you are one day god will hit you stone in their head then you realize that what you have been doing all these years is a very very bad thing they were arrested on their way going to a native doctor what is your problem about where they're going to what is was the what is nigerian police problem you did not get the got them with any weapon no weapon no stone no knife no cutlass nothing nothing they only go in and moving with their flag to whatever they're going to why can't you allow these people be why are you causing problem why is it that british government is betting of frustrating the biafra people you are living in your land and you have right basis now you have whatever and you have a refusal to get our biafra exist what is it about you they tell you say yeah yeah you are educated you are the best it's about every each each you know something you know you know why are you stopping us to be better why are you stopping us to be better you love my right you chop my right sleep everything now you chop up sleep now you get everything now you get to get a pass why are you stopping us from developing? Why are you stopping us from becoming that that you are? Rather, I prefer to press us down with some Fulani who have refused to grow up, who have refused to realize that in life, education is good. Like I say, God is watching. God again he said police will not inter interrupt any form of gathering from group group which has been proscribed by the federal government which for fake federal government do you have any federal government in nigeria they are all fake federal government in nigeria we don't have any federal government in nigeria which constitution are they using in this africa every country using a civilian constitution which one are we using a fake constitution prepared by soldiers by old school flani soldiers so many years ago who was who we are there when they are preparing the constitution constitution indeed who are there they have nigeria got no constitution and besides if nigeria have constitution how can you proscribe a people that the european world said no they are not something like that they are not royalists people that the european world respect the us the un united states of america the eu respect you proscribe them because you call yourself an african government the african nigerian government whereas the so powerful and human they proscribe you have actually proscribed them who the hell are you This is because our Igbo governors, with their useless lifestyle, they gave you the audacity to come in and proscribe a group that's fighting for independence. And you left the group that's killing innocent people of Nigeria to remain continuously killing. You have the gossip, the timat, one useless Yoruba policeman telling us that uh, they are proscribed. Inside we are inside your mother's house or your father's father's house. It shall never be well with anybody who are going around arresting innocent Abobians and at the same time pretending to be a good policeman. Ever since the challenge has so called president to come out and they talk with the people, the press, the journalists to say, just to speak his mother's language, has he done it that done that? He has not. Because he's not clean. 
How can such presidency prosper somebody? When I go tire one day, I want to tire when I go rest. Like I said, I don't want to go around beginning around the bullshit talking about detail of this nonsense. What nonsense. Shall never be well with anybody who is fighting against Biafra restoration. He say, he say, he say, he say, 